This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi everyone and welcome to Whiz Quiz. We're so happy you could join us. This is only the second show of the fall season of 2019. You are going to see Versailles take on Pandora Gilboa and a little bit later Delphus Jefferson will face off against Arcadia. We want to welcome all of our players and introduce you to them. Now we have joining us from Versailles High School, Sam Stockler, Alex Grulio, Kennedy Hughes, and Jamie Holsher. And Versailles is coached by Margie Trion. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Pandora Gilboa. Playing for Pandora Gilboa is Caleb Shear, Sid Norton, Jacob Suter and Grant Farthing. And Pandora Goboa is coached by Leo Recker and Joyce Suter. Welcome to all of you. Okay, you guys, this is really important because we have a lot of people at home who are watching you play. A lot of your family members and just people from all over and they are playing along and want to know if they got the answer right too. So they got to hear your answers, okay? So speak up as loudly as you can. Make your answers as complete as possible and we're going to have a good time, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one in this first round. We have 10 questions in this round. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. And here we go. Number one, which animal can achieve speeds of 70 miles per hour? Yes, that would be Pandora Gilboa. The cheetah. The cheetah is the correct answer. All right, number two, name the Washington Irving short story that features a character who fell asleep in the Catskills for 20 years. <clears throat> All right, time is up. The answer is Rip Van Winkle. All right, number three. Name the seven star constellation that forms part of Ursa Major. Yes, Versailles. The Big Dipper. Big Dipper is the answer. All right, question four. Spell buoyancy. Yes, that would be Pandora. B-U-O-Y-A-N-C-Y. That is correct, very good. All right, moving on now to question number five in your first round. Who lives in a pineapple with his, yes, that would be Pandora Gilboa. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants is correct. All right, number six. How many presidents have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Yes, for sales. One. One is incorrect. So, Pandora, you can try it. Yes. Three. Three, also incorrect. It's just two. Oh, All right. I think we could probably guess the one, but it's Donald Trump and then Ronald Reagan. All right. Question number seven. Which country borders 14 other countries but only has one time zone. Yes, for sales. China. China is correct. Who is the most decorated Olympian of all time? Yes, Pandora. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps is correct. All right, two questions remaining in your first round. Name the animated film version of Victor Hugo's classic featuring, yes, that would be Pandora. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. That is correct, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And your final question, first round. Which ballet term designates the stiffened tip of a dancer's shoe or the position of being on the tip of the toe? Yes, that would be Versailles. Point. Point is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round and here is the score. Versailles, you have 30 points. Pandora Gilboa with 50. We will be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers. 
the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we've got a great group of students playing for you in this first game. We have Versailles taking on Pandora Gilboa. And right now, Pandora Gilboa is leading. They have 50 points. Versailles, you have 30. But Pandora, this means that you're going to lead the second round. Each question, you get five, and they're all worth five points apiece. Even though they're all yours, please still buzz in with your answers, okay? And still speak up as loudly as you can. All right, here we go. Number one. What word names the site of the Bible's projected battle between good and evil at the end of the world? Yes. The rapture? That is incorrect, but I do think I heard the right answer over here. Unfortunately, wow. it is Armageddon. <laughs> All right. Number two. Name the religious group who reject modern technology and still travel in buggies in Pennsylvania and elsewhere. Yes. The Amish. The Amish is correct. How many U.S. presidents have been unanimously elected? Yes. None. The answer is one, and it was George Washington. Oh. All right. Okay, we have two questions remaining for you. Tasmania is an island state of which commonwealth? Yes. Great Britain. That is incorrect. It's Australia. All right. Your final question in round two. What French-based word designates the act of using another's writing as one's own? Yes. Plagiarism. Plagiarism is the answer. All right, turning now to Versailles. Going to give you an update on the score, though. Versailles um, with 30 points. Pandora Gilboa now with 60. All right, so here we go. Versailles, question one. Which disease common in the elderly is characterized by increased pressure within the eye that can result in a loss of sight? Yes. Glaucoma. Glaucoma is the answer. Identify the German composer who was completely deaf at the time of his death in 1816. Yes. Ludwig v Beethoven. That is correct. Beethoven is the answer there. What is the term for a line of latitude? Yes. A meridian. That is incorrect. The answer we're looking for is parallel. Okay, we have two questions remaining in this round. Name the mythological giants who ruled the universe until Zeus defeated them. Yes. Titans. Titans is the answer. And your final question in the second round. In which state was President Bill Clinton born? Yes. Texas. Texas is incorrect. The answer is Arkansas. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds. Here is the score. It is a close one. For sales, you have 45 points. Pandora was 60. All right, now we're moving into our final round. Again, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready. It's really important that you speak up on these. Okay, here we go. Number one. Identify the hill in Athens on which the Parthenon was built. Yes, Pandora. The Acropolis. Acropolis is correct. In which part of the body is the epiglottis found? Yes, Pandora. The throat. The throat is correct. Question three. Name the Russian who made the first space flight. Yes. Versailles. Yuri Gagarin. Yuri Gagarin is correct. All right, moving on now to question number four. Who was the 16th president of the United States? Yes, Pandora. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Pass. All right, you got a chance here, Versailles. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is the answer we're looking for. All right, number five. Identify the document that set up the Confederation of 13 States 
Yes, Pandora. The Articles of Confederation. The Articles of Confederation is the answer. All right, moving on now, number six. Name the sport that the average ball has 336 dimples. Yes, for sales. Golf. Golf is correct. What is the name beginning with the letter A that is the most famous of all Nazi concentration camps? Yes, for sales. Auschwitz. Auschwitz is correct. Okay, teams, we have three questions remaining in this game. Still a close one. Versailles, you have 95 points. Pandora with 80. Which American city is also known as the Big Apple? Yes, Pandora. New York City. New York is correct. Identify the hero of a book by Sir James Barry about a little boy who refuses to grow up. Yes, Pandora. Peter Pan. Peter Pan is correct. And here's the final question in your game. Which canal in Egypt was formerly, yes, Versailles? The Suez Canal. The Suez Canal is the answer. And we have come to the end of a really close game, well played between Pandora and Versailles High School. Here is our final score. Versailles. 105 points. Pandora Gilboa, 100. All right, Versailles, we want to thank you very much for joining us. You're going to be back to uh, compete later on. And as always, Pandora, well played. Thank you so much for joining us this season. All right, we'll be back with another game right after this. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Right, we're still trying to catch our breath after that last game. That was a tough one played between Versailles and Pandora Gilboa, and Versailles came out the winner there. They are going to take on the winner of this game now that's just about ready to get started between Delphus Jefferson and Arcadia. We want to welcome you back and introduce you to our players now. Joining us from Delphus Jefferson, we have Nicholas Kurth, Jacob Groach, Kara Gossman and Emma Mueller. And Delphus Jefferson is coached by Joshua Vasquez. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Arcadia. Playing for Arcadia is Jordan Marzak, Madison Hartzell, Blake Metcalf, and Jasmine Patton. And Arcadia is coached by Keisha Holtzberry. All right, welcome to all of you as well. Okay, here's the drill. We have round one, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Most important thing really right now is just to get those buzzers ready. And when you ring in, please be as loud as you can with your answers, okay? So that we have no questions about what you just said. So, and also make your answers as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Question number one in your first round. Tiger Woods has won fame in which sport? Yes, that would be Arcadia. Golf. Golf is the correct answer. Question number two. Which president helped form the Democratic Republican Party and was elected in 1800? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is the answer there. All right, number three. What is the lowest prime number? Delphus. Two. Two is correct. Name the two long bones in your forearm. Yes, Arcadia. Uh, the ulna and the radius. You are correct, the ulna and the radius. Question number five now. Give the word for a small but aggressive person or a small domestic fowl. OK, 
Okay, time is up, teams. The answer is Bantam. All right, moving on now to number six. What two Middle Eastern nations signed a peace treaty in 1979? Delphus Jefferson. Afghanistan and Iran. That is incorrect. So, Arcadia, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. Afghanistan and Iraq. Also incorrect. The answer is Israel and Egypt. All right, moving on now to number seven. What do the initials ATM represent? Yes, Delphus. Automatic teller machine. We will accept that, the automated teller machine. Question eight. Name the word defined as the act of an authority by which pardon is granted to a large group of individuals. All right, teams, time is up. The answer is amnesty. Okay, two questions remaining in this first round. Name the country that is long and skinny and located on the west coast of South, yes, that would be Arcadia. Oh, um, ch Chile. Chile is correct. All right, moving on, final question, round one. To which family does the fox belong? Yes, Arcadia. The canine. The canine family is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score, and it's close. Arcadia, you have 40 points. Delphus Jefferson with 30. Arcadia, because you are leading, you get the first five questions here in this second round. They're worth five points apiece, really important five points. And you want to make sure that you still buzz in with your answers, OK? What character fell asleep during the American Revolution for 20 years? Okay, time is up. The answer is Rip Van Winkle. Queen Isabella is remembered for the expulsion of two religious groups from Spain. Name one of these groups. Yes. The Spanish Inquisition. That is incorrect. The answer we're looking for here are the Jews or the Muslims. All right, question number three in the second round. Identify the invertebrate whose name designates any computer virus that doesn't need human intervention to multiply. Time is up. The answer is worm. All right, two questions remain in this round for you. Name the condition on which President Johnson declared war in 1964. Yes. Poverty. Poverty is correct. Very good. All right, your final question in the second round. Which name designates a person who institutes a suit in court? Yes. A lawyer? A lawyer is incorrect. Plaintiff is what we're looking for. All right, here's our score. Arcadia, you have 45 points now. Delphus Jefferson remains with 30. Moving over to your five questions worth five important points. Make sure you buzz in with your answers, okay? What word means to be put to death for one's beliefs or cause? Yes. Martyr. Martyred is correct. Name the American physician who announced a safe and effective vaccine for polio in 1955. The answer is Dr. Jonas E. Salk. 
All right. Which country draws thousands of tourists annually to a 73 mile long wall built by Roman soldiers? Yes. China. China is incorrect. The answer is England. Okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. Which bird returned to the ark with an olive leaf? Yes. Dove. Dove is the answer. And your final question in the second round. Which arteries supplies blood to the head and neck? Yes. Jugular. Jugular is incorrect. The answer is the carotid arteries. Okay, we've come to the end of our first two rounds and here is the score. Wow, Delphus Jefferson, you have 40 points. Arcadia, 45. We're gonna be back with our final round of 10 questions right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Just when you think you can relax, we got another tight game going right now. We have Arcadia and Delphus Jefferson, and it's a close one. And our score right now, Delphus Jefferson with 40 points, Arcadia with 45. We're moving into our final round. Ten questions again. We're ten points apiece. They're all up for grabs. So get those buzzers ready. Please speak up, okay? Here we go. Question number one. Off the coast of which U.S. state are the Bahamas located? Yes, Delphus. Florida. Florida is the correct answer. Number two, who was the first woman on the Supreme Court? Yes, Arcadia. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That is incorrect. So Delphus, you've got a chance with this question. All right, the answer is Sandra Day O'Connor. All right, moving on now, question number three. God promised the Israelites a land flowing with milk and what? Yes, Delphus. Honey. Honey is the correct answer. Which 19th century artist said he painted with earth since he used colors made from clay, rocks, and mineral deposits? Yes, that would be Delphus. Da Vinci. Da Vinci is incorrect, so we can turn it over to Arcadia. Yes. Salvador Dali. That's also incorrect. Vincent van Gogh is the answer we're looking for. All right, question number five in your final round. Identify the animal in the proverb, don't count your what before they hatch. Yes, Delphus. Chickens. Chickens is the correct answer. Very good. All right, number six. Which baseball great is known as the Bambino? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth is correct. Whose portrait is on the $10 bill and was, yes, Delphus? Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton is the answer. Okay, teams, we have three questions remaining in this round. Identify the western state whose name is Spanish for colored red. Yes. Arizona. Arizona is incorrect. Arcadia? Yes. Colorado. That is the answer. Colorado. Okay. Identify the national park in Pennsylvania where President Lincoln delivered a famous address. Yes, Arcadia. Gettysburg. Gettysburg is the answer. And your final question in your game. What five-letter word beginning with the letter U names the completely dark portion of the moon's shadow? Yes, Arcadia. Unova. 
That is incorrect. So Delphus Jefferson, you've got a chance to answer this. All right, the answer we're looking for is Umbra. All right, we have come to the end of a great game again. Played this time between Delphus Jefferson and Arcadia. Here is our final score. Arcadia, 65 points. Delphus Jefferson, you're going to be moving on in competition with 90 points. So congratulations. We want to thank both teams for joining us this season. And we will see you back here next week. Have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.